Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to part 59 of the Foster Child Challenge. And if you are returning, welcome back. And we are still in Salvadorada, but it is later than where we left off last time. I have sent a few of two of the kids home and I do have uh, Isabella there lined up to go home, but she's just finishing one thing because they all have scouts starting very soon. I am hoping that both Oliver and Scarlett will be able to finish this excavation before I send them home. But uh, we will see. Maybe what I should do is I should just actually click on them and get them all set up. I want to go send home. And I'm hoping that they will just go to scouts on their own. Because if they don't go, it unfortunately uh, hurts their responsibility as we found out uh, when it was Saturday. Which may not have been in the last part, but in one of the recent parts when they were still in Salvadorada. Because they've been here for, you know... A vacation a couple of days we actually have done neighborhood brawl day and <laughs> love day here in Salvadorada so it's uh, been an eventful vacation now Oliver is actually very close to being able to age up he does need to work on his responsibility a little bit more because he lost some as I said when they were doing the uh, um they missed going <laughs> Sorry, let me, yes, let me, they missed going to scouts is what it was. So here, my girl, why are you still, are you still doing your drawing? That's taking you a long time. You have more time to work on your responsibility. So if you miss a little bit, it's not as big of a deal. But I would say that it looks like there's, oh, look, they are all off to their scout meetings. Excellent. I'm happy about that because I was really, um, was worried that they might not go. <laughs> So hopefully she's actually going to go home. We'll get the pop-up. I have kept the, uh, you know, the foster parents here because they can keep working on their aspirations. So she, he is uncovering a dirt clump. And I don't know why that I can't put this in our inventory. We can only authenticate it and that's it. But let me see what it says. It's supposed to be poor, so it's probably not really very special. Nothing great anyways. So now did she not get to go to Scouts because it was too late? Let me see if I can send her from here. See if she'll go. I may not be able to. But like I said, it's not as big a deal for her because she has more time to work on her responsibility. So if she doesn't actually go to Scouts, it was the teens in particular. I didn't want to take another hit to the responsibility. <laughs> unlike the, unlike the, um, <laughs> the kids. The two kids is not as big a deal. So let's see if we can find another site for Lacey to dig up. So I am going to go try and find the museum. Let me see. I think actually if I go... Okay, so I have my bearings. Here's the water, which is where the fishing is down here and the fishing down here. So there's two fishing spots. There's the marketplace by the cantina, which is the lot that we're on. And I'm hoping if we sort of keep going back this way there we go it's sort of back into the side there's the museum and this is where we had some spots before so there she goes she can excavate that she unfortunately can't set up a dig pile, dig an excavation site it is just a dig pile so that's all she can do is excavate there are a couple of dig sites there for um possibly crystals and then there's another one over here but i'm gonna see where nicholas is so he has already done that. So we're going to stop because he doesn't actually need to authenticate it. We need him to stop and put that in his inventory. And hopefully he can put it in his inventory. Yes, he can. So we're going to have you put that in your inventory. That's their own versus the one that's sitting out here, which is why I'm saying I was hoping that we, I guess the only way to do this is to actually get, I really just don't want to do that one. So now I'm going to go try and go back to where Lacey is. Hopefully she's over there. She's not over there yet, but she's very close. So that's fine. So let's see. Are there any? There's another dig site. So we're going to take Nicholas over here and uh, have him excavate. I'm going to just go fast and hopefully he gets here soon. And now the kids are back from their meetings. So what I would like to do in particular is see if we can. No, we can't. We have to, let's see if we can invite them back to join the vacation. We can. So I may as well just bring them all 
Oh, we can only do one at a time. <laughs> okay, forget the uh, excavating because that it won't happen till afterwards and I don't want to take the time to do that. So I'm going to invite to join vacation. I am going to invite, let's look at the home lot. We're going to invite Sean. Did the, both Scarlet? She's got to uncover from Dirt Clump and so does Oliver. So I'm just going to actually invite Sean because what I want Sean to do is I actually want him to come over here and and set up this establish an excavation site over there and then probably set this one up as an excavation site because that will help I really don't know how much time they even have left of this vacation so it may not be very much I'm just hoping it will go fast and it looks like Lacey already finished hers. So let's see if she can actually s survey for a dig pile. If she has any luck. Sometimes when their skill is lower, they don't actually have that much luck. And sometimes even when their skill is high, they don't have enough. She had no luck. But I find when their skill is lower, it's like more likely not to have luck. So can we actually have her have a shower in the rain? Let's try that while we're waiting for... Oh my goodness, I didn't realize they actually... <laughs> <laughs> I've never done that interaction. <laughs> I just noticed she needed to be cleaned, so I thought, well, let's try that. <laughs> That's quite amusing. Um, I'm going to let her have something to eat, but I'm going to go check in on uh, Nicholas over here. You know what, Nicholas? Why don't you go collect those dig sites that we saw over there? I'm going to put you back over to the curator aspiration. You need to get some crystals. So let me check where Sean is. He's already over to the second spot. So let me get my bearings as to where those sites were. So that's the front. They were near the back. So why don't you come over here and dig and dig. Oh, no, not you. Sorry. It was actually Nicholas I wanted to come and dig and dig. And then you can come here and excavate. And you may as well come here and excavate yourself. And honestly, why don't you come help excavate? Because the sooner they all get it done, the sooner they can go on to the next one and work on that one. So he has to authenticate three artifacts. So he hasn't done any of them. But the more artifacts he gets here, the better. And that's Sean, I mean. So we got one... Metal and one crystal. So now that he's... Let me see. Has he finished that? Now that he's finished that, I want to put him back over onto his archaeology scholar. So they're just digging. I don't know whether they'll even get through all of this before. Though for Lacey, she only needs to get one more before she can move on to the next one, which requires uncovering some artifacts. If Nicholas doesn't, oh well, he doesn't. So I'm going to just go fast because it's just them digging up and digging up. I don't know that I've got the notification that the vacation is over yet, so they may possibly get through all of this. There is a chance. And maybe I'll, what I will do is I'll have Sean survey for a dig pile because that uh, he may have more luck finding a site versus the uh, other two because he is higher in his archaeology skill. He is actually, I was going to say he's, no, that's the wrong sim. Sean is almost level 10 of his archaeology skill, so he's quite high up on that skill I can't I don't know I guess I could have the kids working on something but they don't really have anything that they really need to do so they can just be taking care of themselves at home and he looks like he's getting a little bit hungry this is taking them a while I'm almost wondering whether I should be bringing one more of them here so they can help with digging up this site and oh there we they just finished so that's good so what I'm going to do is find locate that other dig site that I had Sean set up, which is dark, so it's hard to see it. So we're going to go excavate together. We got some money, and that must be from Nicholas taking the day off. So we're going to just bring them all over here to excavate together, and then I am going to actually cancel Sean because... Are you guys not coming? Yeah, you are. You're just slow. <laughs> You're just really, really slow. So Sean, I want you to... He's maxed his archaeology skill. I want you to stop for a minute. And, oh my goodness, it's so dark, I can't see anything. Is there anything here? 
we can only we can't we can't actually do anything with that so you're gonna come here and you're gonna try and survey for a dig pile I didn't realize you don't have the steel bladder trait does he did he find anything oh he's still looking he has to go to the bathroom he did find something so you're going to establish that site and and then when you're finished that, I'm going to take you back over to where the other two are and rally the troops. Because that, assuming we can do that, <laughs> I need to be on Sean and not Nicholas. Come try, let's try that again. Uh, clubs, club gatherings, rally the troops, and that should help him with his needs. The fact that he has to go to the bathroom and hopefully he uh, gets here in time <laughs> before he has an accident. Because that would not to be good. So that's good. He's managed to get that done. He's not. Let's just try it again to get them boosted a little bit more. Uh, clubs, club gatherings, rally the troops. One more time. Won't help you with your hygiene, but it'll help you with your hunger and your bladder and your little bit of energy that you still need. There we go. So why don't you come help excavate so that we can get this done sooner and you can get some more things in your inventory for working on that archaeology skill so so nicholas is now level six so he can actually establish the excavation sites himself so he's all good to go for that so that's good so now all he needs to really do is excavate that one more site so I'm just going to let them keep excavating and finishing this. And then once they're done, I'm going to bring them back. So I'll be back when they're back home from their vacation. So they're back from vacation. I ended up just having, as you saw, the three of them. They managed to get through the first part of uh, doing the dig sites, the doing three dig sites for both Nicholas and Lacey. But now that they're home, they got their bills, 15980 I'm not going to pay them right now because right now what I want to concentrate on is I want to actually have her write have Lacey write an excuse note for Oliver because they Oliver has no vacation time left. I, don't, I think I have her rallying the troops. I almost kind of think I should be doing that with Nicholas because I really don't want her to be talking. I want her to come over because it does take some time to write excuse notes. So I'm not sure if she's going to get it done in time because I really would like Oliver to finish working on his things he needs so that we can maybe age him up and Oliver is their actual adopted child so I would really really like to get him to get everything if we can I don't think I'm going to concentrate on for Scarlett and Sean the badge as much because I'm not sure where they are let's see so they have see I should have done that outdoor adventure when they were but they can do that here quite easily because it's summer is it summer yes it's summer what I probably should do is should have a uh, vacation day <laughs> set up so that they can all stay home like a summer vacation since it's summer <laughs> and they can all stay home and take a vacation day without uh, actually requiring anything now those I have to buy those those and I should probably buy oh I have them. no I don't have them because I should put them in here so we've got all the way to silver but I think I'll get them all at once once they've actually completed so did she view her badge progress? Because I can't remember and I didn't see the thing pop up. So I know she needs two more. I'm just curious how many, where she are, she is in terms of needing those ones. So hopefully that'll come up soon. And I really hope that Lacey manages to get that excuse not done in time. And the two kids, I had them take a vacation day so they could stay home and work on their aspirations. So for a young scientist, she's got one of five. An outdoor adventure, she's got one of six. So it probably wouldn't be that hard, but I assume she also has no vacation time left. She does not, and I want to see. So she's got everything but empathy, but there's really no time for her to do anything for empathy before she was would go to school. Um, young scientist. See, that's so much easier. I find it's quicker to do at the... The child level because every time they do a potion that counts but if she goes down here it probably wouldn't be that hard if her logic's okay she could come over here and it looks like the garden needs to be looked after but we I'm pretty sure have a collect microscope sample that's what I wanted her to do if she collects a bunch of microscope samples she can go and use that 
There we go. And then she can get that one quite easily. And then if you go fishing or you barbecue, those things help. Collecting bugs in, in uh, Granite Falls also helps. Is there time? Probably he has time. I think, let's see, what cooking skill are you? I think you're actually pretty high, but the easiest way to tell that is to look here and say cook. Yeah, oh my goodness, he's eight. <laughs> he is quite high. So you're going to actually, do you have any, can you do? No, you can't. You don't have anything there. So we're going to have you grill a baked potato because that will help you with your outdoor adventure. We were too busy doing other things that we didn't work on that when we were in Salvadorada. And um, we could they can go fishing. I can send them over to the, the fishing area over here, but they would have to do that after school, and it was too far for them to really go, so I didn't think I would bother with that. Oh, what I should probably have done. Forget this. Do you, have you done your homework? Yes, you have. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. Just, just, just do whatever you want. There's not really much time to be worrying about it. Did you actually get that note done? Let's see. School for Scarlet. Let's see. Oh, so Oliver does not. So we're going to concentrate. Let's look at Oliver. So he's doing... Oh, what is he doing? That was a bit weird. So I assume he just collected a badge. And we're just about to get this, what he needs. So he just needs, he needs arts and crafts, which he can do woodworking, he can do flower arranging, and he can do um, painting, of course. But I don't think painting really fits with his. We do need someone to do flower arranging, but it'd probably be better to be one of the young adults in the house, like either Lacey or Nicholas, because if we do bees, we have bees, we need to be able to have the flower arrangement scented with crocus and having a teen who's about to leave have that isn't so good. So I think what I'll do with him is let's take a look at the most important thing is his symbology. So he needs a little bit more for his responsibility. He, I don't know that he quite got into the range for that. And since he's not going to school, which is one easy way for him to actually finish that, if he comes over here, that's Sean's I don't know how much it helps to do someone else's school project for your responsibility. He does have something in his inventory. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to have him come down here and start working carefully. So that will help him with bring that responsibility up. And now let's concentrate on Addison. What do you need to do, my dear? You need to practice typing for four hours. So why don't you come over here and do that. Practice typing. And... Isabella, you need to play, you need to draw all three pictures. So you've done two types. So why don't you come over here and you're going to draw. Since I normally do it alphabetically, I'm going to assume I'm on shapes. And and then we'll set you up on the next one when it's available. Because I kind of, well, this table is actually available. So we're going to draw vehicle. That's what we'll do with you. And there's, there's Minnie sleeping there on the floor. So do you go to work today? You go to work in two hours and I want to look at your, did, did I have any of them? You're at level two of flower arranging. So why don't you come over here and read that book? There we go. But Nicholas, have you done flower arranging? You're already at level four. So I think we've already maybe got this to the point where we need it. I don't know. Why don't you come over here? Yeah, we do, because there we go. We have a bee friending crocus. So we have it all done. So we're going to apply a mite treatment, and then we're going to... I was going to have them bond with the bees, because the kids are all doing their own thing. Well, not their own thing. They're doing the things they need to do for school, is what I should say. So once you do that, we're going to ask for gardening tips, which you don't need to do, because you've actually maxed your gardening skill. You're going to check pockets for seeds. Then you're going to bond with the bees. I meant to actually slow it down, not, <laughs> not pause it. Hit the wrong button. So there we go. And then after you have done that, I do find this is something you can't set up like to do it. We're going to tend the garden. These are crocuses. We're going to actually harvest the crocuses 
And what else do we have in our garden that we may want to actually harvest versus... So we're going to harvest the dragon fruits because we can give those to the kids for when they move out to their own places for helping them financially because they're very, very, very lucrative, those dragon fruit. So that's the only reason I'm harvesting those as opposed to selling them. What do we have on here? Oh, there's a dragon fruit. It's supposed to be... It said it's a uh, dragon fruit, cowberry, and snapdragon. We don't have any cowberries. So I think those are the main. And we may as well harvest the chrysanthemums because we're... Well, I can't right now. I have to wait. He's all done. Now, Lacey, are you... How, I hope you're in a good mood. <laughs> well, you're in the mood you are because we can't do anything about it. And did you... Are you... Almost finished, Isabella? Was that one we actually needed? That painting you did? That picture you did? Wrong sim. Did I tell you to draw? What are you doing? Draw a vehicle. Am I getting them mixed up? Because that looks like Addison. It is Addison. And she came... Yeah, she did do what I didn't want you to do. Okay. So we're going to come over here and have you draw your vehicle on this one because I sometimes find that when you're trying to get them to do the practicing typing and whatnot that if you have a table that's available for them to draw they'll instead do like the crafts of whatever season it is is that what she's doing she just says she's drawing I don't know maybe I got mixed up but she needs to practice typing but before you practice typing we're going to take you over here and we're going to have you rally the troops. There we go. You're going to rally the troops and then you're going to come back over here and you're going to practice typing. But I think this part has gone on long enough. So we managed to get some more time in Salvador Dorado, which helped with Sean and his aspirations, though when he comes home from school, he still needs to work on his character values and he needs to finish authenticating three artifacts. So we may end up having Lacey write a note for him tomorrow. And of course, we can age up Scarlet anyways until Sean is ready. So maybe we'll have her write a note for both of them. I don't know whether we're going to get Oliver through everything he needs to do. Like if I really do want to get him, I have to decide. So he's got his responsibility back. He needs to do emotional control. So we're going to have him uh, go jog to clear mind when he's finished with his uh, project. He probably doesn't need to do the project anymore. We're going to leave that because he can work on that if he needs it to bring his responsibility back up. He doesn't need that right now. So he's going to do a little bit of jogging and then I'm going to try and do the things he needed for his scout badge so i might take him over to do a little bit of fishing to help with that and then we'll come bring him back and have him do some type of probably let's see where his handiness is because he has he has five so he's actually in a reasonable position to do some woodworking and that'll be pretty quick for him to get for that part so we're fingers crossed see whether we can get him through and aged up before he has to go to school on Tuesday. Otherwise, his birthday will probably be like Tuesday night instead of later on tonight. And probably a little bit ambitious for me to get it done for this, uh, quote, evening, which would then be in the next part. We'll have to see. But that is it for this part. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye! This has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge Let's Plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much!